So within a very short time, we had already hit a mark of around 600 goats now. Because 2020, mm. today is 2023. Yes. Towards the end. Yes. Those are three years. Mm. Not less, to be precise, about two years and mm. a couple mm. of months. Mm. Mm. And you're at 600. Yes. It makes a lot of sense. Mm. Mm. It is making a lot of sense. It does. With the twinning ratio, ratio, ratio and the management. Mm. I think today, the, the, the goats that you started with, the first, mm. uh, the, the first kids mm. have already also given back. Yes. yes. And we have even sold most of the starting stock already oh, and gotten back most profits. Of the goats we have been selling. Mm. Them. Uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a goat valued at a good uh, a pure like a good cat. pure mm -hmm. here in Uganda mm -hmm. the least price mm -hmm. can be two million shillings two million shillings yes and you have how many about 600 600 yes times two million Ugandan shillings <laughs> do the, the math <laughs> you've invested almost a billion shillings there an IT uh, expert the human resource, the human resource mm. expert. Yes. Then you tell me he on story. <laughs> we are not going back. Uh -uh. Eh? We are not going back. We are going forward. 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 You see that you said something. Mm. I only said something. Mm. Yes. But good for me is your plan. A. Uh -huh. Our plan B. So the is plan A fails. We, we, that's it. That's it. We are keeping there. You're going to plan B. We are going, going to plan, plan B, which is still B. agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> We Guys, you married. Yes. I have certified. Mm -hmm. I have seen. I've touched. I've felt. Guys, this goat is born like yesterday and it's like three kilos. Mm. These are the number one. Number one. <laughs> Breeders of goats. <laughs> certified Uganda. by no, I'm, I'm Thomas. <laughs> I, I'm first. <laughs> And guys, if you want to get some goats, mm. Mm. in terms of breeding, mm. in terms of improving your back mm. and your stock, mm. Mm. if you want to eradicate poverty mm. and increase food at your table, mm. Keep it farming with AIM Agriculture. Nice. <laughs> 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 How are you guys? Not bad. Aim uh -huh. Agriculture, how are you? 
this is the goat dynamic duo. Yes. yes. Please. Where are we? We are in Chiruhura district, the <laughs> western part of Uganda. Close to which border? Congo, Congo Rwanda. Rwanda. We are just in the middle. We are just in, in the, the middle. In the middle, in the center. Guys are doing great. We are trying. I read your message. Wow. I was also looking for you. Wow, yeah. thank you so much. We're also looking for you. The number one. <laughs> this is the number one goat breeder. Get it from AIM Agriculture. Mm. In Uganda. In Uganda. I've seen it. <laughs> AIM Agriculture has certified it. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Which course? I did my IT. Bachelor's Which year graduation? In, I graduated in 2020. Oh. Graduated. Also graduated in 2020. Human resource management. These ninjas graduated during time of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it was a tough time, if I'm to remember very well. We tried to move around with papers, looking for jobs, but it was hard. It wasn't easy. Mm. So me and him sat down, decided to go back on ground. You come back home? Start from scratch. Nothing to do in Kampala. Nothing yes. to do in Kampala. And we found when we were passionate about farming. Farming. And, oh. we, and the, we already had the land. Mm. The land was existing. The yes, land the land was, was there. So what was lacking? The capital was capital. a big challenge. The idea is there. The idea is there. Yeah. The resource is there. Mm -hmm. but capital. The capital. Uh huh. How did you start this thing? How did like how? You guys need it, to be. It no? came. It came. It came as an idea after the COVID time. We got. We got hardships getting jobs. We had our degrees. However, we had a, We had something called land. Not so big, but the land was there. The labor is there. Like you can see, we have the boys around helping us. The capital is a big problem. The starting capital for every youth out there, if you were to ask them, the big challenge would be the capital. But we managed to keep trying hard and eventually we raised such goals. When you are having partners, eh? when you partner with anyone, you get things moving. We actually started with the local goats. Then we have been transforming, getting good bats for breeding mm -hmm. and we have bred these goats. Because we saw that these uh, exotic goats they grow so fast compared to the local goats. Mm, Their mm, growth rate is mm, too high mm. compared to... Because a one-year uh, local goat uh, 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 is, is equivalent to a three-month exotic. Yes, cross. Good cross. Good cross. So that is the feed to meat conversion ratio, the growth rate. The FCR. Exactly. Guys, this is AIM Agriculture. We are here in... Chiruhura district. Chiruhura district. Uganda. Western Uganda. Which is the nearest border? The nearest border, I think that's the border to... We have Rwanda border. We, have we also Rwanda have border, the also Congo. Congo. We are, we are right there. We are, guys, we are some right few there. steps to Congo, few steps to Rwanda. <laughs> East Africa. That what? is how AIM agriculture will never miss to surprise you. Mm. I bring you some very energetic young men yes. these are my great friends yes. mark and uh, Aine. Aine. very passionate about goat farming yes. and actually meat goat farming yes specific. yes and they're doing it mm. like i told you mm. just subscribe like and share the next surprise you have more to watch exactly <laughs> yes. we're talking about goats but we'll know in the next episode, which is another surprise, mm. yes. why it's Kamati Dairy Farm. Yes. So guys, you tell me now, um, you it's COVID time. It's COVID time. We, we finished. We are campus. done with school. Mm -hmm. And we actually found we are passionate about farming. And there are no jobs. There are no jobs and you ask yourself, what next? And many people have learned, uh -huh. the youth, uh -huh. their parents, uh -huh. they have learned, but they are retiring in Kampala. They are wasting time. How many goats did you start with? We started with the locals. There were not so many. There are about uh, 100, close to 100. Close to 100 locals. And how many do you have now? Now we are different flocks. Eh? This is just one of our flocks. We have different flocks. We have about, about 600 goats. 600. Yes. Two years. Two years. Two years. Coming to three now. From 100 goats. To 600. Yes. Actually, let me say, from 100 local goats. Yes. To 88 percent. Yes. Pure breed. Yes. yes. Goats. Yes. How did you get this idea? Like, like how? Like, 
we are encouraged by these goats. You see, these goats give birth an improved goat, an improved goat, not the local, not the indigenous. An improved goat gives birth at least two times in 13 months. In 13 months. Two months in 13 months. Yes. Two times. Two times. Time. Like months. almost two times in a year. Let's say almost. With a high twinning ratio. Twinning ratio. Yes. Yes. Now, so you mean? If someone wants to start, yes, it's not a must to start with a pure bill. It is no. not a must. I it's actually not advised mm -hmm. for you as a starter mm -hmm. to come and just go direct to the pure. Mm -hmm. Start with the local goats, mm -hmm. which have them. more of the immunity, mm -hmm. then you improve them. You introduce you a male. More about them. Mm. As you come into the pure now, mm. you keep on learning mm. because every day mm. you have something to learn. Mm. This is what you call climate smart agriculture. Exactly. You do agriculture according to your agroecological zones. Most areas in Uganda, and most these goats you see do very well in very dry areas, not semi-arid areas. So, compared to the dairy, it would be hard for a youth to start because these dairy cows are very sensitive to weather, feeds, and all that. But the goats do actually very well in such a semi-arid area. They give birth twice, you do the right things. Animal health care, you do warm. No. Vaccinate. No. No. Let's go slow. Yes. You guys, you are taking me so fast. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Hmm? I'm just like someone who is watching us. Yes. Mm. With the intention of wanting to start. Yes. I have no idea about dairy goods. Mm. I'm a passionate poultry mm. expert. Yes. Now I want to start mm. goat. goat farming. Mm. And to be specific, meat goat farming. Yes. You said I look for a couple of local goats? Yes. That's one. Yes. Then I come and look for a good buck from you guys. Yes. Do you have any for sale? We yes. have the bucks. The bucks are there. Oh. We have the bucks for sale. A good buck? Like, yes. That is good for... Of course, which are the ages that you sell? Well, we sell those that are already mounting. Ah. So this is six months and above and bucks. Above. So if mm. someone wants them, just a call. Just yes. a phone call away. The number is here on the screen. We do Karahari, Savannah, and Boa, Boa goats. At St. Catherine. Yes. yes. Okay. So now I have my eight local goats. Yes. Then I come and look for a good buck. A good buck. Yes. Then I take home. Mm. So that this buck adapts to that climate. Mm. Then it improves my flock. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> so uh -huh. now I've got the buck. So now when you get the buck mm -hmm. and you introduce it to your local goats, now you'll have the first which we call scientifically, I think that's the F1. So how do I take me through mm. slowly? slowly. Mm. How do I take care of this goat until it's ready? Mm. You know, there's something called it, steaming. I don't know, mm. blah blah blah. <laughs> until it gives birth. And how do I vaccination? <laughs> With goats, there's actually not so much work. Mm. When it comes to treatment, mm -hmm. all you need to know is the diseases mm. that are common in your area. For example, here in our area, we have a challenge with. What is PPR? PPR is a disease. I think that's pneumonia for the goats. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. Then we have CPPP. Mm. CBPP, contagious something plural pneumonia. Mm -hmm. It's a From scientific Chinese term. Yeah. So then the other is goat pox. Mm -hmm. Where you find the goats have. Uh, yeah, it looks like a katara. A lumpy skin, skin something like that. I ah. <laughs> then the off disease for the kids when they get wounds around the mouth and it mm. doesn't let them that suckle. Is that is off disease. Mm. So when you know the diseases that are in your area, mm -hmm. you vaccinate according to those diseases that are there. Okay. Diseases in, it, in this area mm -hmm. may not be the same like the ones in Naivasha or any Nakuru. other. Nakuru. Yeah. So that's why you recommend you first have your research. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then are you strong. bring in the stronger bag? Yes. I get you. Mm. By the way, just to clarify something, yes. in my village, mm. disease you've mentioned about... Uh, uh, off disease, the wounds around the mouth. The mouth. Mm. I see uh, people who say that, I don't know, the goats are eating, uh, I don't know, uh, some plants that are not okay. Guys, you're getting it from the experts. Mm, mm, mm. That's a disease. That's a disease. It's Especially it, in kids. It's vaccinated. The mm. vaccines are there for that disease. Mm. It's off disease. Off disease. O R F. O R F disease. Mm. So you vaccinate. You vaccinate. So mostly, you guys are working with vaccination, prevention of the disease. Yes. Than treating Treatment. the disease. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. So I have now my first, my F1. Mm -hmm. What happens? 
Now that F1 will be improved, mm -hmm. it will have a higher growth rate, mm -hmm. higher maturity weight, mm -hmm. higher fertility. Mm -hmm. It will not be, it, even when you're to get this, if I would have a chance to get one local and another and show you, mm -hmm. the, the cross, the second cross will grow faster than the original local. Mm -hmm. Yes. So after I get the F1, mm. from this eight local, mm. Does it mean that I have now to withdraw this? Because I'm sure it's not supposed to mount the daughters to control the inbreed. Uh -huh. Yes. Exchange with the neighbor. You can exchange with the neighbor mm -hmm. who you are partnering you with. Can sell it. You can sell it and, and buy another. But uh, you see, the young ones also take time to grow. You can let it have at least two to three generations. Mm -hmm. Then you remove it and introduce another one to serve the first generation kids of the previous back to avoid inbreeding. Mm. Mm. I get the sense. Yeah. I get the sense. Mm. Guys, we are doing this thing as a business mm. and want to get these things right. Mm. So you mean the F1, mm. before they are ready to be served, mm. the mother would have already given back to an F, another F. Another one, yes. yes. So by the time it gives birth now to the third one, mm. it's when the first one will be almost getting, getting ready, ready to, get to be mounted. Mm. Yes. So that's when I can re remove the back and get uh -huh. another one. Yeah. Now you are, my worry is going that down. The mm. genetics will keep improving. Uh -huh. The genetics will keep improving that way. Mm -hmm. there, there's, there's no rocket science in this. What did you do in college? I did IT. I have a bachelor's degree in IT. <laughs> IT. <laughs> yes. Now a good. Now friend. agriculture here. Yeah. Look at this tactical fit, <laughs> Shamba. Yes. What did you do? I did human resource management. <laughs> you even spoiled it. <laughs> Guys, if an IT mm. expert and a HR expert mm. can teach us yes. on matters good Concerning farming, agriculture. And see, 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 this was 100 mm. local. Mm. Now it's 600. Mm. Yes. I'm sure even the mm. values are different. The value is different, yes. Guys, let's go back. Uh, now we, we know how uh, to start. Yes. So we want to know how you started. We already know how to start. Yeah. Me now, I this have an idea yes. of how I can start. Yes. Even our viewer has an mm. idea. Mm. So you guys uh, finish school and you finish at the worst time, COVID, companies are Downsizing. Downsizing. Yes. And here you are, you want a job. You want a job, you have papers. So you come back home. We come back home, you don't have the capital, but you have the land, you have your people to help you, uh -huh. the labor is there, uh -huh. then now let's get into it, let's hustle. Who, where, where did the idea come from? We found actually when we were actually doing it. Mm. Say, so we had a mutual idea. <laughs> we had a mutual idea. <laughs> yes, we had a mutual idea. And we decided to come up with a proposal mm. yes. about God farming. Mm. And we made a proposal. Mm. How can we start now? Mm. Mm. We said we can look for a little bit of some capital mm. by then. Mm. Then he got some capital. Mm. Uh, from we, 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 we hustled and got capital mm. Mm -hmm. of about uh, that was about five million shillings. Ugandan, Ugandan shillings. shillings, yes. That's about how many dollars? That's about one five, one thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred dollars. Approximately. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. Then we bought about uh, uh, thirty goats, mm. which are now the improved. Uh, no, mm. uh -huh. the local. The goats. local. Um, then after getting those local goats, mm -hmm. we got uh, we went and bought. Uh, <laughs> A good man. A good man. We sourced a good man for the genetics. So that is now a, a, a boa or a, a savanna? A boa. boa. Uh -huh. Then we brought it, uh -huh. we started crossing now. Mm. Those 30 goats. Mm, yes. Those 30 goats. Yes. The 30 goats gave birth to, 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 to almost close to 50. To the just Each was giving us two. two. We were so lucky. Two, one, we had a high two, twinning ratio. Mm -hmm. Very few of them gave us one. We are lucky that way. But if your cow can give birth to twins, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the so most important, what you need also, mm -hmm. it is knowledge and research. Yes. And where are you going to get the knowledge from? Mm -hmm. From? Hey, my hey, my culture. <laughs> <laughs> you killed it, man. So now you, you come, uh -huh. you get your first 50. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. We improve them. We keep the, 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 the target was to hit a critical mass. The demand is high for this. Mm -hmm. So the target is to have the mass, the many, as many as possible. Mm -hmm. That is why we even came up with, a, along the way, mm -hmm. we came up with an idea of joining hands with other youth. Mm -hmm. Other youth. Because agriculture for the youth has been downlooked. Mm -hmm. 
if you to look at some books of agriculture, the mm -hmm. cover, you will find an old man mm -hmm. carrying a hoe mm -hmm. and maybe an old woman carrying a kid and it demoralizes the youth. Yes, like no, 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 no shoes. Yes, no shoes then. Yeah. And there's, there's an African. There's an African. To make like, it even like, worse. Like <laughs> Let's leave that for another day. Ah. So, uh, <laughs> we want to change. We formed a CBO. Mm -hmm. CBO simili simply means a community based, based organization. organization. For youth. For youth. For youth. youth. We have women under this organization. Mm -hmm. We have partnered with women because we have so many ladies here mm -hmm. who are just ready to work and they're at home. Mm -hmm. They're married, they have the land, they have you their have families. We have started that CBO now. So it mm -hmm. started, mm -hmm. it was certified. Mm -hmm. It was certified just this year in May. Mm -hmm. uh, our target is to have more of these and have more youth, women, smallholder because farmers the for this on this. Is very high, and the market is insatiable. Oh, it's insatiable. I think if the reason why uh, we had this conversation, Mark, yes, yes, I read your text three times. Yes, sir. Uh. And it was so impressive. <laughs> I liked how the fact that you appreciated what I'm doing. Yes, and I also appreciated exactly what you do. Yes. Um, your target or your focus mm. is equal to ours. Yes. You're looking at poverty eradication in Africa. In so Africa. Basically, Africans for Africans. Yes. <laughs> Guys, look here. By you having a local goat and then mounting it with another local goat, you even get a local. <laughs> or a local local book. It's called back crossing. You're back crossing. Mm. You're, back going crossing. you're getting you're back not yes. yeah. 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 It, Have a goal. Instead of increasing the growth rate, you keep reducing. Mm. So you guys now bring in this good bugs. genetics. Yes. Genetics. Yes. So you have a goat that can grow faster. Yes. Right? Very, that very. is disease resistant. Yes. Mm. So that means at that point. This farmer hmm. can easily afford the goat, yes, and it will grow faster, and it can be sold to the market faster, yes. quicker, quicker, yes. and of course some good money because yes. it's heavier. Hmm. So that means you're creating wealth. Wealth. So you see, you've eradicated poverty, and you've eradicated hunger. Yes, and you're Amazing. providing employment to all these people we can see behind the camera. We are at fifty. We are at fifty. Yes. Hey. Now fifty kids. Together with their mothers, mm. which were 30. Mm. That is that eight. Is eight. And then we have the bucks. Mm. I think now we're coming out to the 100. That you yes, know. we are now coming closer to the 100 mark point. So you keep, now, how did we go? You know, I see the passion you have is so high. Yes. We want to, well, it is something, I think it's a, it's a goal that we are working towards. Now, between 100 mm. and 600, mm. Uh, Aina, hmm. yes. what was the biggest challenge that you woke, you woke up one morning and you almost gave up? <laughs> so, not having the knowledge about the vaccination. Uh, from the start? From the start. That was the challenge. We did not know that the goats can be vaccinated. They, like they have a vaccination program. Schedule. They have yes. a vaccination program. Mm -hmm. This and is if you want to manage the goats, mm -hmm. you have to vaccinate them. On time. On, On time. time. You yep. discover the diseases that are around your place, mm -hmm. that are affecting the place. Mm. You vaccinate the goats according to those diseases. Mm. One thing I like about you guys mm. is this. Guys, if you look at their goats, these are the most healthy goats I've ever seen. Mm. Most healthy. Mm. By the way, since I came to the farm, I've not seen a bag of bran. <laughs> Why do I like hey, that's I've true. I've not seen a bag cotton of seed cake. cotton cake. Mm. I've not seen a bag of pollen. Yes, yes. And they're hundred percent free range. Free. Well, you see, there are very many ways. Like, look at the structures. No, Simple. nothing, nothing mm. complicated. No, nothing. No, nothing. I honestly. Mm. You need to invest more in the animals than the structure, guys. Because at the end of the day, you're selling the animal, not, the, not the, structure. the structure. You mean this goat sleeps in the outside? Yes. I can see. Mm. It but they are, they are well vaccinated. Uh -huh. They are dewormed. They are sprayed every week. They are sprayed every week. Management. Mm. That's so, management. So it, key. If, if a farmer buys this goat, mm. it can easily adapt. It can easily adapt. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. That's mm. why they actually like them so much. Mm. Because they around. They eat free range. They eat free range. They stay outside. They stay outside. They are rained on. They are rain done. So these stories of me at the goat house, <laughs> it should be like this.
it, why, it, it eh? depends. It depends. Well, there are very many ways we can have these animals. Uh -huh. Free range, uh -huh. zero. Uh -huh. it depends on how your capacity is. If you want, zero, you're going to look at the planting, the harvesting, the extra storage. It also your market. If I'm investing this, but when I'm selling at a bigger price, then I'm making a profit. The profit margin is okay. Mm. Why not? Why not uh, uh, supplement my goats if the profit margin yes. accepts me to do so? Uh, yes. So Aine and Mark, you now take your. You see now this. You start seeing the fruits. Mm. Like you start seeing. Eh, hey, touch A it brings mm. B. Mm. So now you stay on the farm fully. Full yes. time. This is our office. This is this our is warehouse. Our plan A. This is our plan. Plan B. A HR on the farm. Yes. IT. An IT guy. Uh -huh. And it is really interesting. Uh -huh. it's, fun. it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Now you are here at 600. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. And still going. Congratulations, Medi. Thank and you, Aim Agriculture. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. We shall need more people on board. If you see, people like Aim. If you see Edge Mates. <laughs> eh, hey. It's us now. <laughs> now, I see every goat. Mm. Every goat has mm. a tag. A tag. A tag. Yes. Six and just see tag. Tags. Either yellow or red. Or red. Yes. Yellow or red. Yes. So that means what is the essence of the This tag? is acts as a security now. Ah. Because once you tag this goat, yeah. or when the goat gets like lost, mm. and it has a tag. And it has a tag. It can be traced back. Can be can be traced traced back. back. Oh, a person there will call you because they know that our goats they have the red and yellow tag with certain codes. with certain codes. So when it goes to someone's farm, mm -hmm. that person will call you mm -hmm. and tell you that your goat is here. Mm -hmm. I want to assume also for record traceability keeping. and record keeping, head count, head count, record keeping. So if one was to buy a goat, mm -hmm. it means the generation can be traced back. Mm -hmm. yes. Ah. Now, looking at your goats, mm -hmm. I can see one is a strange mm. with a red head. Yes. That fighting is okay? That's just Late. head butting, it's okay. Ah. Ah. The red heads mm. and the black? Yes. A black head. Mm. Tell me. Mm. Oh, oh. I'm confused. They, they are breeds. They are breeds. The ones with the red heads, those are. It's a good characteristic of a boar goat. Mm -hmm. Boar goats have. It's called a brown scarf. So you are at 88 percent. 88. We are trained. Then the black. The ones with the black scarf are normally crosses with the local now, whereby now we need them for that hardiness. Mm -hmm. Cross them and get that hardy goat. And mm -hmm. also the demand. There are some people who come looking for boar specifically. Yes. Pure boar. Yes. Brown. Uh -huh. They get them, mm. and those that come looking for the savanna, yes. you are all white. Mm. They'll get they it. get them, and those Kar that red karahad, mm -hmm. they also get them. So if one wants to get a uh, buck, and let's say someone is, in... <laughs> ah, how? Yes. Ah. Just look at this thing. Profits. And That's what we call a profit. It looks like it was born yesterday. Just right. yesterday. And it's so heavy. It's almost a kilo three. Yeah, it is almost, almost three kilos. This yeah. So this is what we call profits in goat farming. Wow. You see money? <laughs> this money now. <laughs> in three months, four months, uh -huh. I'll be able to sell her off to any breeder. Or she'll be able to give me kids in a year. If someone wants these goats in, let's say, in Kenya, let me use the first yes. in Kenya. Yes. In Nairobi. Yes. Can someone get them? Yeah, with them. The, with the good paperwork organized, mm -hmm. we can do the delivery. Wow. Yeah. Because you've got all the... Get the good paperwork, we can do that. So they, you can just call your right to you mm -hmm. and you arrange? Mm -hmm. Immediately. The market is insatiable, mm -hmm. locally mm -hmm. and, outside. and outside. These are goods I've seen. I've certified. <laughs> Check. AIM Agriculture. Certified by AIM. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> These ones. Okay, I, I, I meet farmers, mm, I meet mm, farmers, but yes. in terms of breeding, mm, mm, there I give you uh, yeah. respect. Mm. Respect. You guys are doing it. Respect. It's amazing. Yeah, we are inspired by people like you. We have our friends who are watching us. I tell them mm. every day, guys, embrace farming. Mm. Embrace farming. Mm. It is the way to go now.
and they say mm. hiyo ni story ya jaba mm. <laughs> jaba <of> <laughs> <laughs> eh? these things are no mm. profit mm. these things are dirty mm. they can't work tell them something now when it comes to agriculture as a business and the youth we are going to be the next big thing there is a statement that was made by one of the big people in uh, I think World Bank or something, mm -hmm. where he said the next group of billionaires mm -hmm. will be the farmers. Why? The population is growing every day. People need to eat. People need to drink. Kids are being born every day. People have uh, recreational places. They need meat. So you have the agriculture sector, you have assured consumption. You have assured market. Great. You yes. see, now, you see like now, you need a doctor once I or twice in a year. In a year. Mm. You need a lawyer once or twice in a year. But you need a farmer how Every many day. times a day? Three, Three times, times a, day. a day. Breakfast, lunch, lunch supper. No, at least. There, but there are some people also who need a farmer more than three. Yes. Uh -huh. I'll leave it for mm. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for hosting us. Thank you, AIM Agriculture. Thank you. I wish you the Thank you, thank sir. You, thank you. I'll keep coming. Okay. Keep coming. We can't wait to see the next episode on the free range dairy farming. Yes. Stay on, please. And Stay watch. tuned. Subscribe, like, and share. share. <laughs> <laughs>